Seaside's on air, on location at Austin City Limits 2019. We are here with the amazing Bones UK, Rosie and Carmen. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I, I love that you have come in this ensemble. I know. It was a ready to go. It was accidental. I just put this on and then she came down wearing the same thing. It was really awkward. It happens every day. I can imagine, <laughs> yes. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's somewhat temperate today. It, it was forecasted to be a bazillion degrees. We had we had a rule, but our rule of the day was we weren't going to complain about the heat once. Because yesterday, I swear to God, all we did was go like, oh my God, it's so hot. So today, we're like, we're not complaining about the heat. We're just going to suck it up and deal with it, no matter okay. how hot it yes. gets. We're, it, it's a wonderful day. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. And you've been hanging out at the festival. We're just chatting about the different things you saw yesterday yeah. and so far, Guns N' Roses, mm -hmm. which is kind of not a surprise. Yep. Did, you, did you grow up a GNR fan or was it just that? Definitely. You can't be a guitarist and not love Slash. Yeah. <laughs> Total inspiration for you. What's your favorite guitar solo from him? What song? Well, I mean, Sweet Child of Mine would be the first thing I ever learned. Oh, really? First solo of yeah. Guns that I learned. So let's just stick with that. Congrats, by the way, on this amazing debut album. A lot of the songs a lot of people are familiar with. What was the delay in terms of getting this to put yeah. out? We, we, we just, we were waiting for the right opportunity. We never thought even like doing an album was necessarily what we were going to do. We were like, do we want to do an album? My album's a bit old fashioned now. Is that what we want to do? Maybe we'll just do singles. And then it got to a point we, we found a label that we really loved and really supported us. And they were sort of like, let's just put, let's put out the first collection of stuff in, you know, in, in a body. And she always wanted a vinyl. So she was like, we had to get her a vinyl. And so, <laughs> but it was basically. <laughs> that was really just, important. Yeah, yeah, really important. So the first, album was just like about us just taking all, all we've done it's like this is bones and then the next album we, we've already started writing it and it's kind of like the next progression but it was really important to us to kind of catalog that body of work in something and the label really wanted to do it right right because they always say your debut album is basically your life's work up to that yeah point, and then right? you've got to write the second album you're like i don't and know you what just to get talk scared about. yeah uh, right because yeah. now their expectation is like okay you got a couple years here uh, yeah no, right? we start we literally on the day it came a day our first album came out and started writing the second one because yeah. i don't want to do that thing where you have to wait like three years to like you know we want to start getting the songs ready now yeah because so. yeah. some of the songs on the album are like three years old or yeah. four years old yeah. right yeah totally it was it, it was yeah as we said it was just it, they, from when we first started the band so it's just about putting those all together we, we changed a few things we tried to make them better so we remastered them we kind of changed a couple of choruses and just tried to do the best versions of those songs Carmen I know that as a guitarist and getting influenced by people like Slash and those kind of things what was it like to work with Jeff Beck uh, the legend himself I mean he's just incredible he, he changed the way guitars played so um, being on tour with him and on stage with him it's like having free lessons every day. Yeah. Um, and he's incredible. And so anything in particular that he that he taught you or showed you or that you saw and you were like, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ta Talcum powder. Talcum powder. So um, he puts down his hands so you don't slip when you sweat too much. Oh. Don't get sweaty. I've got this amazing shot of them with the talcum powder in the air. Yeah. Is it called talcum powder in America is, right? Yeah. Tal. Like um, what athletes like use. Baby, like baby, you know? Oh, like right. LeBron James, he, yeah. he always yeah. does the whole powder thing, Yeah, right? that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so he, him and Buddy Guy always uses that as well. It's like a little trick that they use. Yeah, so what was it like touring with him? Because, I mean, basically, it's you ridiculous. recorded the album with him, he brought you on tour to open. Yeah. And well, he came He came to see our show and then asked us to write the record with him. And then we were on tour with him within about... We'd written the album and we were on tour with him about three months later. Yeah. So the whole thing was like, what the bloody hell is going on? This is insane. Um, yeah. Rosie, what, have you ever thought about the way things have come together in your life? Because you met Carmen in a bar, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, and it, was, it was by chance and it was a sob story of, yeah. a, of a breakup, breakup or what have you. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're at a party and then Jeff Beck walks by, right? Yeah. No. Uh, what are some other random things that have happened Every in your life? Day. Like Every day. Every <laughs> day. Uh, we did, the first thing we ever did, we always do this kind of stuff. The first thing we ever did as a band when we moved over to America is just got tickets to Lollapalooza. We weren't playing, but we just got um, backstage passes. We were like, right, we're going to go there, we're just going to meet people. And within the first day of us being there, we'd met Highly Suspect, who are an incredible band. And um, we were going on tour, like we hadn't had a tour in America. We met them the first day we arrived. We were on tour with them like a week later yeah. for like two months. Then what else? We met our manager the first time we went, did the same thing, just got tickets to a festival and just went and hung out and met people and met our manager, met, you know. Wow. It happens to us all the time. You just have to put, put it out there into the universe and then think good things happen, right? Wow, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not gonna say anything about what may happen here at ACL. Might get married. There, there's some people, what? Yeah. Getting married? Maybe. Wow. Never know. 
Have you hung out in Austin before? Yes. Yes, we have. Ah, no wonder you talked about getting married. Yeah, a lot know, of things right? can happen down yeah. at 36. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm looking forward to your set today. and Thank you. Uh, can't wait to hear what you have in store in terms of new music. And great to meet you. Lovely to meet Lovely you, Lovely to meet you, Pete. Awesome. <laughs> it is uh, Bones UK. We're at Austin City Limits 2019. B-Sides on air.